Hey, Junk Monkey friends, it is Sonia from Junk Monkey Paint Company here, broadcasting live from Ligonier, Pennsylvania, just south of the Pittsburgh. Okay, this morning I woke up in Wisconsin. I finished my day back in Pennsylvania. 10 hour drive up yesterday, 10 hour drive back today, but we had to get some painting in, right? Because it's day two of our paint challenge. So for those of you who've never been on here before, we love to throw out challenges with you guys, right? Give you guys great ideas. This is a page where we love to give you free paint tutorials all the time, right? You guys know that, you guys love it, you tell me all the time. And we always say that inspiration is free. So this is day two. We're gonna hang out here every single day for 15 days. And so I've got something up my sleeve tonight, okay? We're not gonna paint a piece of furniture tonight because it's late. And like I said, I just got off the road of like 10 hours traveling. But I'm gonna show you one of my favorite techniques to do and I've never showed anybody on here before, okay, on here on my page. I actually showed the girls in my Coach and Create Club and they love this. I wanna share it with you guys. And of course, I've been saying on here that pretty soon in the next few days, I'm gonna close my uh, Coach and Create Club. I'll tell you about more about that over the next few days, but we're gonna be holding a boot camp, a six week business boot camp to help grow your business. So more to come on that, okay? But anyway, this is one of the techniques that I shared with them and uh, you might have even remembered seeing this. I, I put this on my page at one point in the last few weeks and I said, look how pretty this sign came out, right? So I love to do different techniques. So tonight I'm gonna to show you how to recreate something just like this and I just want you to know that you can totally like do whatever colors you wanna do, but it's pretty cool, right? You guys know me, I always say, you know, furniture, brownie, frowny, furniture let's paint it right um, and so and people go like no do you have to cover the wood grain so tonight this one's for you okay I'm gonna show you how I cheat to get this awesome wood grain effect going on but it's done with our Chucky style paint okay so that's what we're gonna get into tonight how does that sound give me hearts if you want to stay tuned and learn to be able to recreate this piece so I am solo tonight my partner Matt well let's see so Matt tonight, I told him to stay home. Yesterday was day one of our paint challenge. By the end of day one, he was already showing his hairy leg. Uh, so uh, I'm like, okay, I just don't know where this could escalate to because this is only day two and that was day one. So where are we gonna be at come day 15, right? So I said, Matt, no, you gotta stay home tonight, okay? True story, he's home tonight. This is actually Carrie behind the camera with us, okay? Carrie is who I affectionately call our shipping department because where would we be without her? So tonight she's holding the camera. We'll, we'll uh, chat with her in just a few moments. But true story, Matt's actually at home because he had to do some family stuff tonight. Our son, we're very proud of him. He actually uh, was the opening act, I do believe. I think it was our opening act, but they played the school dance tonight. So he had to be, last night he was sexy, tonight he's taxi, okay? Taxi, T-A. XI, so he's shelling the, uh, the kid around tonight. He's a senior. And uh, so anyway, me and Carrie are here, right? So we're gonna go and have some fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, put some paint down, and uh, then I wanna hear from you guys. So Carrie's gonna tell me who's on here. And uh, so we just have to be gentle with her tonight, okay? Because this is the first time Carrie's ever gone live with us like this. So, so far I think she's doing a pretty good job as a camera woman. What do you guys think? Give us hearts, give Carrie hearts if you think that, all right? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Carrie, who's on here with us? Tell me. Oh, we've got... Lots? D'Amica, Bessie. Oh, D'Amica, yeah, Bessie, yep, Penny. absolutely. we just filling orders for Penny. Oh, nice. Mary, Leslie, Charlie, Christina. All kinds. All kinds of people, Bonnie, Tammy. <laughs> I, if you've never been behind the camera... I'm not going to get everybody. I will tell you that right now. <laughs> this is where Matt starts doing that. We've Can got... So, 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 right? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Carmen. There's a lot of people, right, to catch up with. Yeah, and it's it's hard for me to read and follow Sonia. <laughs> so. No worries. All right. So, when you got questions, let Carrie know, okay? Put, like, uh, I don't know, put stars around them so, Sarah, so uh, Carrie can try to find you there. Because when you're behind the camera on a live, it's like a sea. It's a flood of comments that come up, okay? So... So she's doing a great job. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna show you, like I said, how I did this effect right here. I'm gonna give you guys some ideas and inspiration tonight. So this piece, as beautiful as this looks, it really is just a plain piece of pine wood, okay? So I love to go get these pieces, like case in point right here. This is one, um, this is just one that's kind of kicking around. I've just done some tests on We were testing our milk paint out and there's all kinds of splotches all over, but I grabbed it as well because there's still lots of fresh places that I can work with, right? But I buy these big pieces of pine um, wood, what would you call them? Wood pieces, right? Big long ones. They come in like six 
8, 12 foot, all kinds. And when you go to your local hardware store, like if you have like a Lowe's or a Home Depot near you, as an example, did you know you can go to them and say, hey, I want to go ahead and get this piece of pine wood, but would you be so kind as to cut it for me before I leave? So typically when I do signs like this size right here, they're just one foot, okay? This is one that I was, I was working on a project before I didn't actually finish. And so I'm just going to use the back of this as a demonstration tonight just to kind of play with. But this is a, a really, really cheap way to be able to create signs because you're getting a lot of wood for really, really cheap. So for me, like um, we have actually a busy beaver uh, in this local area. So I don't know if everybody has a busy, busy beaver. I don't think so. Maybe it's just like the Pennsylvania area. Don't quote me on that. But they have like their wood that it alternates every week. Different sizes go on sale. So I can get a big old piece of wood for um, like $6.99 that might give me 12 signs out of it. $6.99 for 12 signs. And then it's up to you to be able to do something really cool with it, right? So this is what we've done and what we're going to do. By the way, we have a giveaway tonight, right? Don't let me forget that as well. So we actually have two giveaways tonight. How cool is that? So tonight, up for grabs, there is a $20 online code that we will award a lucky winner. I'll get Carrie's help in just a little bit to pick somebody just to name out some random person uh, who will get that code emailed back to them once they go ahead and claim it by midnight tonight. And the other thing that I thought would be fun to give away was because you guys love these. Do you remember? Anybody see me use these little spoons? They're actually called nesting spoons, measuring spoons. And look at that little monkey, like adorable, right? He kind of looks like pickles and everything. So anyway, I want to give a set of measuring spoons away to somebody tonight as well. That, so it's two um, giveaways tonight. So one person will collect on the $20 online code to shop and the spoons as well. Okay, so these are awesome for like when you're working with milk paint to be able to scoop out. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And all you have to do, by the way, to enter is to hit share. Share the love right now and then type the word shared so we know, know that you did it, okay? And we're gonna confirm that if your name is called. And then you have by midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time, to send an email to junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com. No, at gmail, yeah, gmail.com. Okay, let me go ahead and get started. First up, I am going to go ahead and slather on some of our black velvet all over this plain Jane piece of pine wood, okay? And hi for mom and dad. Mom and dad! Hey, how are ya? So tonight I'm using black velvet. Mom's on. Wouldn't surprise me if Nan comes. So when you're doing this technique, like I'm showing you right now on a piece of wood that's gonna be a sign, but if I was doing this on a big piece, like a big like tabletop or something like that, I would actually wanna do it in sections because we don't want our paint to dry before we get that technique um, to work. And you're like, what the heck? You just painted it black. How are we gonna get that? So it's done through a special tool. Has anybody ever used a graining tool before? Um, they're a lot of fun to use and I'm going to show you the one that I have and actually I found a link to one as well It's very similar So if you like the style that mine comes out in tonight as soon as I'm off of here I will go ahead and throw it up here in the link, but this is a greeny tool Okay, you've got the straight edge to create some straight lines and you've also got this kind of curved top on it I've used mine before lots of times before that you rock back and forth to be able to give you this really cool graining look Okay, so what we do now is we go ahead we start in a section so like I say, if this, like for example, if I were to painting and this was a tabletop, I would actually put a little bit of paint down in this area and then I'd go ahead and do my technique on this section. Then I would go ahead and paint the next section, maybe a foot wide, and go ahead and do it on the next section and work my way over, right? Because you never want your piece to dry before you get to the other end. So let's go ahead, let's talk you more worky, right? And Linda, 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 sorry, Matt's not here, it's me, it's Carrie. <laughs> You joined us Carrie. a little late for the announcement. Come on in, <laughs> Carrie. Take a look at this. Yes. Yep. Matt is taking care of Riley tonight. So what we do is we go back and forth. And you can also, like, take um, some paper towels and just kind of dab off. Because what happens is you don't want that grain to get totally filled, right? And so would you just work it back and forth to be able to create some really cool looks? Back and forth. What do you guys think, right? Just another way to give a really cool backdrop to a piece that you might have. So the long, you can pull long and get some really long grains going through. You can go back over that if you want. So in between here, if I wanted, I could have added some straight lines, but I'm gonna butt this back up next to the other one right here, I think, and do a little bit more right there. 
Has anybody ever tried this before? Nope, let's put a little bit on the end. And Carmen and Sonia will be carrying headbands soon. Yes, we're waiting for them to get here. They, we had them manufactured for us. We have got some really pretty patterns for you guys. You know, I love color and all that funness. So, um, you know, I had to have some head wraps that were pretty darn cool. So I just had to be patient and wait for them to get here. But um, they are, they're on their way. And I promise as soon as they're um, ready, I'll go ahead and put them in my shop. And let you guys know all about it so I had like um, I did an order of I feel like I did like I can't even remember because I was like all over the different designs of what I was gonna do and um, I think I feel like I got like five or six designs out of it okay Dee Dee Christina they both want to know where you buy this this I got this one uh, at Michaels but like I was saying a little bit earlier because I don't know about you but I love me my Amazon Prime um, I found one as well online that I'm going to put up the link for as soon as I'm done here. And honestly, you can get these, depending on the one that you pick. I feel like I paid like right around 5 or $6 for this one. But um, honestly, so that's the link I'm going to put up tonight. So you get one that is, is as close as possible to the one that I've had here for a while. But uh, yeah, they typically range from like maybe $5 to $16, right? But look how pretty that is. So now we would let that dry, right? So you could use the end of your piece as well. Let me go ahead get some of this off but you can use the end of your piece as well if you kind of want to put some lines every now and there every now and then you know in your piece and kind of like just make some more uh, really cool striations which is really nice look at that that's cool. And Nancy wants to know are you using a lot of pressure while you're doing that not at all but so you the key is doing it while your paint is wet so I'm going to put that over and let that dry. I'll do another one um, to kind of walk you guys through it. But what color would you do yours if that was you? I mean, what do you guys think? There's so many different colors that you can pick from. And the other cool thing is paint your background first, right? I'm just using, like, how easy is this? This is just a piece of pine wood. But know that you can do that in any color under the sun. So maybe if you want a navy sign, right? Or you paint it one color underneath, like a pretty Bahama Jade. And then you do this uh, process over the top of it right so remember just in sections that you would do it but in this case because I'm working on a plank here that's not that big I can go all in and still have time to manipulate the paint right so get a nice nice um, coating of your paint on I'm using my stash tonight you guys of course hopefully you've all heard by now Did you guys hear the big news if not go back and watch the big video this week um, but anyway this is our new packaging right here so I am using my stash, which is um, the older style cans up until this week. So this new uh, can actually contains a little more paint. And we also listen to you guys. We changed it up so we have the wide mouth uh, cans. So that way you can fit your brush in there a little better, right? So. And they want to know, can you do this with milk paint? Yes, you totally can. Just work quickly, okay? But know that unless you're going to add some bond, your uh, milk paint, your Junk Monkey milk paint is going to chip and do all that sort of thing as well. So you can control it a little bit more if you use the chalky paint, um, but just know if you use the milk paint, you can totally do it. But you might also get some other effects in there as well, right? Unless you use the bond to really help try to tame it down. Or if you're using Hungry Thirsty Wood, that works as well. But think about like going over the top of a table. I've done tabletops with this, this is so pretty. So again, we put our paint down, all right, and we're gonna start right here. So it's, you look at it and you're like, what the heck? Like, you know, how does this make this, particular look. I go back and forth. And so if I keep it in one single area, do you see how it makes kind of like a knot hole? And then when I'm ready to let that go, then I can go ahead and like move it to another area. They want you to use two colors. Let's do it. Actually, there's some color on this one, so we can totally experiment. Who's going to try this? Thanks for tuning in, guys, to our paint challenge where every night we will do different techniques and have fun stuff. Also a question whether pickles and petunia will be on any of the headbands. Ooh, that is a super custom one that we are also planning for the future, but the initial designs that we have are all really cool colored ones. Because you know me, I love me some color, right? But everything is coming. I promise we got all kinds of swag planned for you guys so remember just once you start to kind of like see your your graining tool um, get sort of what I say like clogged up a little bit just wipe it off with a towel 
um, because you want to have enough of the, the grooves to have enough of the space that they actually allow you to see the effect and it's not all going to be clogged up. So pretty. All right, is everybody sharing? Pretty soon I'm going to get yeah, Carrie to. You can do it on your cupboard doors. Yeah, you can do it on anything you want. And especially if you use the chalky style paint, we always say that's the paint with the muscles, right? Guys, you know me, I'm, I love to paint. And this is a, you know, it's not that I don't like wood grain because I do appreciate some furniture where I just want to just, you know, I just want to give some moisture to the wood grain and really enjoy it. But then like you do something like this and you're creating really cool backdrops for signs and it's wood grain style. And I'm not opposed to it. I love it. I think it's awesome. And you can do some really, but this to me is like more of a modern take on it, right? So it doesn't look old fashioned. It's really cool. It's eye catching. It's totally custom because think of all the colors that you could play with when you do this. All right, so fun. And while it's still wet, like I say, if you wanted to sweep this through any part to change up something again or to go over something, you totally can because at the end of the day, it's all going to, you know, it's all going to come together. You really can't ruin that. I don't think you can at all. So you should feel good about that. And at the end of the day, like I always say, when you paint, it's only paint. Nobody's going to die, right? So just paint. And if you don't like it, all I would do is dry it and then paint over it again. So I'm going to dry that real fast and... Carrie, if you want to do some shout outs, yeah. tell her, ask me some questions. Teresa wants to know what the name of the tool is. She just joined us. Hey, Teresa. This is a faux, as an FAU, wood graining tool. So this is the one I use. I like the ones that have this sort of, um, I like this pattern. You can get them in different patterns, but I like this pattern that it creates for me here that you see. So this is my particular favorite pattern, and it's made of rubber, so it, it just works really nice with your hand. It's not made of plastic, so like, you know, the back is not gonna fall off of it or any weirdness like that. Um, and I think I paid right around five or six dollars for this at Michael's, if you have a Michael's craft store. But if not, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link up to uh, one that I found that's very similar. I've had this one for a while, but um, I found another one that's very similar to this, and it has the bo same bones, and I think it's like $9.99. So it's Amazon Prime, so you won't have any tax in, you know, who doesn't love some Amazon Prime? And I wonder if you sell stencils. If I sell stencils? I have some stencils in my shop. Um, they're like um, Parisian style, you know, like Keys, Paris style. But I do have uh, lots of great things in the works that's coming up. So stay tuned. I'm going to add everything to my website. We've got lots. Oh my gosh. We've got so much stuff that we want to roll out to you guys. And now this week that we announced that we have uh, manufacturers in place for our paint lines. It'll mean, like I say, that we can get out of the kitchen and really entertain you guys and have fun with our guests, which is you. Um, you know, and be able to do all, all the things that we've been waiting to be able to get time to do. So we're working through that process to, um, to get everything all in place, right? Lots of great things. So we just traveled to Wisconsin the last two days, opened up a new retailer up in, um, what's it called, Calvary, Mount Calvary, yeah, Mount Calvary, Wisconsin. And uh, so shout out to Cindy if she's on here from Holy Land Vintage. And we have two more, um, two more, two more retailers that we actually just finished the orders for that will go out to them as well uh, in Oklahoma and South Dakota. And I know we've got um, Maryland coming in on Sunday to pick up their order. So we'll tell you about them as well. And we've also got a few other states that will open up this week. So, oh my gosh, we have not stopped, but we're working hard to get the Junk Monkey closer to you guys, which you've asked for. So as we add on retailers and what you have to do is, if you want to know like the whole list, go to junkmonkeypaint.com, click find a retailer, and that's where we're adding them under each state. So, you know, if you know somebody that will be a great person to um, carry the product that you think will be a good fit for them, by all means, refer them and tell them to go to our website and click Become a Retailer. Right? Pretty easy. And thank you, Linda. Yes, uh, the bee stencil came from Maison de yes. yes. Since I showed you that one tonight, I'm going to work through it so you can see exactly how I recreated it. It might look like, oh my gosh, how would you get that sort of look? Which one was it, right? I had a 50-50 chance of which was, do you see what I did down there, right? We just did this, we recreated them, and I'm like, which one was the B? And I picked the wrong one. So that means I should not buy a lottery ticket tonight. But anyway, yes, here was, here was the B. So we just did the back to be able to match the front, right? Pretty cool. 
So love it. All right, so we're gonna continue to let that dry. I don't need to put anything on the back of this one because the bee's on the front, right? And now it's totally finished. So I would just go ahead and let that, you know, completely dry. So this one over here is the uh, sample one that I was showing you how to recreate it. So now once this is done and it's dry, I'm good to go ahead and stencil on it, right? So this is the bee. So let's see here, can you see the bee? This looks right to you guys, right? Because I'm not in selfie mode. So it doesn't look backwards, I don't think. So this is the bee um, that I've had for a long, long time from my uh, friend Lisa at Maison de Stencils. These are really heavy duty stencils. I had this, this for years um, and I love to invest in plastic stencils that I can keep for a long, long time, right? So we're gonna put this one down. Let's see here, Mr. B. And Christine says we need paint in Arizona. Yes, you I'm do. Guessing she must be meaning retailer. Yeah, she's gonna have to tell somebody, like you know, tag people who you think would be a great fit, by all means, so we can get the junk monkey closer to you. All right, so I just kind of like randomly put that on here in a space that I think will work. Let me go ahead and open up um, some of our antique lace. This, it's funny, you know, I will use my um, cans down to the very bottom. And the reason why I do that is because I will always keep cans that just have that little bit on the bottom. You know what I'm talking about? I've had this forever. But I know it's, even though it's not enough to really paint a whole big piece of furniture, it's perfect. I just need a little bit to be able to dab my brush into and um, to be able to do my stencil, right? Because I always say less is more when you're working on a stencil, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on my shabby chip brush. I love me some shabby distressed furniture. And Pam from Michigan wants the paint there too. Aw, oh, Pam from Michigan, heck yeah. I feel like we've gotten a retailer in from Michigan recently too. And then I had a question. Well, what was her name? Yes, we're in Sterling Heights. Is there a link for a Michaels to get that tool? Somebody wanted to know. I'm gonna put up a link where you can get it from Amazon. Okay. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is take our shabby chip brush. I always say less is more, dab a little bit off. You can always put more on, but it's harder to take it off, right? You guys have bleed throughs. You tell me it's hard to do, you know, it's hard to work on your stencils, and I always tell you, number one, if you're using, especially if you're using our chalky style paint, you know, we make it, you know, it's our recipe, and um, I've always loved my paint to be thick. So what that does is it helps me so that when I'm working on pieces like this, I don't have to worry about bleed through so much because it's not gonna run everywhere, right? Lisa wants paint in Montreal. Oh, is that Lisa Joyle? Yes. Heck yeah. And she is our Canadian dab, 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 friend. Dab, dab, <laughs> A little paint therapy tonight, right? Absolutely. So we had uh, fun Texas in Wisconsin. Wants, um, of course, Canada wants the chalky yes. paint. But, yeah. Yep, it's coming. It's coming, guys. Slowly but surely. Stick with us, and I promise you will have it in your hands. That's a goal for us as well. So Neil said she'll be in trouble if you come to uh, northeast Alabama. Ooh. Sounds like somebody likes to paint. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid the checking account will be drained. Uh, Tons of stuff that could be paid. Hey, it's money. cheaper than like having a therapist, right? Well, we got Christina dab, 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 dab. I'll be your paint too. therapist, okay? It's free. Just tell the husband. This is my free therapy, babe. Just let me watch Sonia paint. All right, 15 days straight of dabbing and paint therapy. And Mary Dawn wants to see another video using... Chippy chippy juice. Ooh, funness. We can surely do that. So one of the things we're doing is over the next 15 days is working through, ooh, you see how I put a whole lot on there? We'll see how that works out because I was chatting and I went and put my brush down and I put a whole lot, but that's okay. That's okay. Let me pull that a little bit off there. All right. There Vermont go. wants paint. Florida wants paint. New Jersey wants paint. Nice. Oh yeah, we've got um, three more states this week, so we'll be coming to you and telling you all about that as well. All right, look, so there we go. Let me put this over here. How pretty, right? We totally replicated it. Now I need to dry it, and then I can also do some distressing on it if I want. But look how pretty that is, right? You can do it too. Like how long did it take us to be able to knock that out? So I need to dry this, do a little bit more of a fade with it, and then we can totally seal it and it'll be done, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up. Since somebody said about, you know, seeing this effect over color, let's do that as well. 
Let's do that as well. None in California yet. No, we've, um, I think we've seen some um, applications come in. So then it's up to them to get back to us, right? So we'll see what happens. Let me see, what can I put it over? Let's try this. Let's look corner down here. So for those of you who are joining us, we're doing a 15 day paint challenge. Um, and we're also having lots of goodies every night because we're gonna be here hanging out, let's have some fun. So we tonight we are giving away a $20 online gift um, coupon to shop our online store. So all you have to do is share this video and then type the word shared and then momentarily we will go ahead and holler out two people. So one person will win that particular gift and another person will win one of these fabulous monkey, monkey measuring spoons, okay? These are the same uh, set that I use when I use my milk paint. You guys have seen me um, use the nesting spoons. They're really cute. You totally need them for your collection, okay? So two of those, all you have to do is share and just type share down below. And Amaryllis wants to know what this effect is called. It's called faux wood grain. And then yep. Beverly wanted to know if you can use both milk and chalk paint. Totally, at yep. The same time. Oh yeah, absolutely. You can actually layer with the both of them. You can totally do that. But just know that the milk paint uh, is the only paint that chips, right? So you can get some totally different effects than you would when you use our chalky style paint. So this is just a section. There's even some, um, some of the lace on here. I think that's antique lace. One day I was showing somebody how to dry brush in my shop. So I, I kind of like painted this corner. So this is just like a board that I use sometimes when I'm working on things. But anyway, I'm gonna use it today as an example because it's a little bit of color. And I wanna show you that this particular effect is done on raw wood just like this. But if you painted it over an area where you have some really cool color going down, you just wanna make sure your bottom layer is completely dry. And then you go over the top layer and really pull it. So look, you've got some really pretty. Remember, this is an area that had the antique lace over Bahama Jade. Oh, how pretty is that? Look how nice that came out right there. You guys seeing that? If you see it up close, it really looks like, like faded. Let me push this in a little bit. Faded um, blue-green wood. It's almost what it looks like, to be honest with you. Let's see, give me hearts if you like it. Give me hearts if you'll try this. I hope you will. And then I hope you will uh, post lots of pictures in our Junk Monkey Paint Projects um, private Facebook group as well. You can show everybody what you've been working on. Look how pretty that is. I think I'm in love. I think I'm in love. Look at that right there, right? Because that's where we had the Bahama Jade. You guys seeing that? Hopefully it's coming across good on camera. All right, so just rock it back and forth. Cool. So no, I'm not pressing hard. It's just all about the swivel of the wrist. Let me butt it up next to that one. Push and it. Mary Dawn says, if milk paint chips, can I still use hippie juice under it? Yeah, it will def definitely just give you more um, crackling and funness that I call it, more yumminess, right? So you can use the Chippy Hippie to give you all kinds of crackling, and then um, if you just use it you know, underneath a layer of the milk paint, you'll see how it dances underneath it, and then not only will it like, it's, it's not really a crackle kind of look, it just gives you this really old, wretched kind of look, right? I'll see if I have anything here that I can show you. All right. Okay, take a look at that. Kara, you show them up close. And let me see if I can find something that has Chippy Hippie. And uh, what do you guys think? Would you do it with color? Or would you go with, um, would you put it over raw wood? Or what color would you use out of curiosity? It's funny, I think there's a skunk outside somewhere that lives here because I can smell him again. Me and Carrie leave in the evenings. And I swear to God, some days he smells so pungent. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be around the corner just waiting to spray us. I think our friend is out there tonight again, Carrie. Can you guys see this? This was just another piece that I did one night. But this, this had um, a blue over a coral. So this is the kind of stuff that um, the Chippy Hippie will do, right? And then if you do some really bold colors like, you know, navies and reds or mustard pickles with our black soot, you're going to get some really cool old primitive looking things. These are very vibrant colors, but this would be beautiful if you used a lot of the, 
you know, the darker colors to go with it. Oh my gosh. What do you guys think, right? So hopefully that helps somebody. All right. So let me see. I'm loving it with the color. You like it with the color? Me too. So imagine, okay, just imagine people that this was a dresser and we painted the entire top of the dresser in our Bahama Jade. Beautiful, right? Put it right on. Are you good? Sherry, she'll share a link for the tool. Oh, okay. Um, so imagine if we painted the top of a dresser entirely Bahama Jade. Who cares how nicked up it is or how old and beaten up it is, but we put our color down first, we dry it, and then we dry across the uh, greening tool that I've been sharing with you guys tonight. It will give you this most beautiful. Can you imagine if you did that with like our beautiful uh, blues that we have underneath it and then put the black on top of it? That would be gorgeous. So I'm curious to hear what color combo would you do for yours? All right, let's see if this is dried. So this is the B, of course, that we did tonight. Let me see. I took my stash on the road with me yesterday, so I had to make sure I still had it. So we traveled to Wisconsin to open up a retailer, and I still took my uh, paint stash with me, right? So I had to fish it out tonight. Let me dry this real fast. We'll go ahead and put a finish on it, and we'll pull out our monkey shine. And Tina has a question. Yeah. It says, if you were to swipe down and flip the board, would that give it a more authentic look? Swipe down and wipe the board. Flip the board. Would that give it a more authentic look? What do you think she means by that? I'm not sure. Can you explain what you're asking a little bit? Swipe down. Swipe down and flip the board. Flip the tool, maybe? You could totally flip the tool where you get... Um, some like straight grains and then you have longer grains but I tend to stick to this side up here because um, I love it because I can pull it right and I can make some you know straight away pieces. Let's see some of the color combos I like would be Bahama Jane yep. Paris Gray. Oh pretty. Mermaid Tail and Antique Lace. Yep. Black under lace. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. White over black. Love it. See, I love it because our people on here, you guys are not afraid of color, right? You're totally not afraid of color. All right, let me see. Antique lace and teal. Let me see if I have another sand block over here because we were using those last night. We can use this one. So this is just a sand block. Uh, it's a medium grit. So I could really distress this one. This one over here I didn't do a whole lot with. But then on top of that, you can come in and really distress off some of your words. And your letters, you know, your design to really fade it. You're going to want to go with the direction, literally in this kind, with the direction of the grain that you just created. So let's and go and ahead and do that. The link to get the tool from yes. Amazon. As soon as I'm off of here, I will give you the one that I recommend, okay? Because um, I want you to get one that's not going to break on you and it's going to give you the same texture how pretty that is, right? So this is really faded out right now, but that's okay. Cameron wants to know if you're ever going to make metallic paint. You know what? The world is our oyster. We have all kinds of products planned for you guys. So many good things planned that will make your head spin. So if you're a shabby painter or a distressed painter, um, love color, all kinds of great stuff that we've been whipping up. And now that we have a manufacturer working with us, it'll mean that we have, like I say, time to be able to spend on developing all the products that we've had kind of, you know, in the back of our mind for a long time. And so um, it's about to get good. Okay, now Tina right. was trying to clarify what she was saying here. She sure. said, whoops. Let me grab a water. Here. I'll be right back, Carrie. Okay. Yep. said, run the grain tool down, then turn the board over so you are pulling from the bottom, then the top again. You could do that if you wanted, I guess. The cool thing is that, you know, like for me, wood grain, I like to kind of go in one swipe and then create the grain because wood grain goes in that direction. The only thing is if I brought it up from the bottom and I brought it up from the top, remember all these grooves, they hold paint. So you might end up with a pile of snow. Imagine like pushing snow from both directions. You might get this little pile of snow that just doesn't seem to connect there. So I would recommend you swipe from one area, one side down to the other side, 
and then put because you're pulling it off and then you're gonna wipe your tool right and Amy wants to know if you've ever tried the tool from Lowe's I have not I have not and Jennifer we're located in Ligonier Pennsylvania okay so let's go ahead and seal this piece. I love how there's a crack in the wood right here. When I pick up old pieces of wood, I'm like, give me the pieces that's got the chips and the dents and the dings, because that's my style. A lot of times you can even find pieces that they'll give you on discount. But you know, we're over here trying to make it look old, so why not already bring it, you know, here? And that way I just keep jazzing it up from all the dents and dings it already has. So what I've done now, you can see the difference in these two pieces, right? One's more vibrant and this one's more muted down. You can totally keep it muted down if you want. The paint will not fall off, okay? Some people think that, you know, when you're working with a chalky style paint, it's like a chalkboard. You can actually create a chalkboard with our chalky style paint, yes, but it's not going to fall off like in terms of chalk actually coming off of a chalkboard, right? Okay, Tina says down in one slice, down in the next for the other direction, so I'm guessing she needs to make a cross size. Uh, we could try that. How about we try it? I'm up for an experiment. And yes, um, apologize if I pronounce your name wrong, Nodi. Um, yes, this is the same sand block that you can get on yep. the website. Yes. This is my favorite one that I use. This is my go-to. And I love it because it's the perfect grit where it just grabs edges, um, but I can also do some fun stuff with it and really get some distressness going. Distressness. That's a new word, distressness going, right? All right, so let's go ahead and do a seal on this. I'm going to go ahead and grab my wax brush. These are on our website as well, jumpmonkeypaint.com. Just click the shop button. You'll see the whole collection. All my tools I've been adding there. Guys, you know, you guys say to me, oh my gosh, what is it like to work with your new wax? And then I have people who use it and go, oh my lord, it is so amazing. I had a lady message last night and she said, you don't seem to do a whole lot, you don't seem to put a whole lot on when you wax your pieces. I don't, because we've made it in a way that it actually goes a long way and it's rich and it's soft and it sinks into your wood pores and closes them off. All you have to do is kind of do the swirl. So your actual can goes a long, long way, right? You guys remember when I did um, with one can, we went through the entire um, milk paint challenge that we did a month ago and I still had um, I still had wax left over and I had used it even before I started the process so it goes a really long way so if you are somebody that don't want to have to deal with um, you know like the streaks that you can get from poly sometimes which on here I think over the one of the nights over the next 15 days what I want to do is spend the night talking with you guys about wax versus poly and a lot of the, the same questions I get um, our questions like how when you do have to use poly how do you avoid getting like the brush uh, the streaks or uh, a milkiness right like a murkiness that you can see sometimes so I'm gonna talk about that so stay tuned make sure you're subscribed to our live here how you subscribe so thousands of you got alerts today that we are actually going live right now and there's a whole bunch of you who have not signed up yet right or you go to the wrong area to sign up all you have to do is when we're off of here and we're done go to the top of our Facebook page Click the message button. So on some phones, it will look like an actual, like a zigzag, like almost like, I don't know, a bolt of lightning. Click it, the messenger, messenger will open up with pickles. Type the word subscribe. Pickles will automatically subscribe you. So that way you get alerts for like when the cool brushes come in, when we're having lives, or when there's something special going on. So you don't wanna miss that. All right, so we did that right there. The next thing that we do is take out one of our puffing cloths. And then how do you clean your wax brush? Sure, we can talk about that. All right, let me go ahead and get take care of this real fast. So we've got our wax on right now, right? Or polish on. Now, if you've, I've always say, because everybody knows Karate Kid, you wax on, you wax off. We've waxed on in the circular motion. We've pushed it down into the wood pores. It closes off the wood pores. Then we take one of our awesome cloths to be able to buff off the top residue, right? Because you don't want this to feel sticky or weird. It's gonna basically clean off any of the residue that's on the top, any of that black, uh, like chalky dust, um, and also any of the wax. So basically, I buff in a circle, and then I turn my cloth over to another area. So that way, what's left behind is it's nice and sucked in and just feels like butter, right? So these cloths are also available on our website. These are actually a trademark cloth called Better Than Cheese Cloth, and I am in love with them. I've actually started using them for glazing and for buffing like this, all right? Rhonda wants to know if you have to re-wax in a few months. 
No, I would not actually wax in a few months. But I will tell you that, remember what I'm telling you with wax. Think about how it works. It sucks into the wood, right? So if I always say and liken it to, we probably have all used like old English on here. You have a piece of furniture where, um, you know, the stain goes into the wood and it looks awesome. And then maybe you're spring cleaning once a year and you take it out and you just buff it all up. And you shine it all up again, right? So it's just a way to keep your paint job looking really healthy and sharp and happy, all right? So you can do that just kind of like to kind of buff it up, right? Just like you buff a car up. That's all you have to do. Whew, that was a workout. All right. So this one I had done, I, I did probably a few weeks ago. But yeah, what do you guys think? So I did a little bit more distressing on this one. But which way would you go? More distressing, less distressing? But so easy, guys. So easy. Yes, Hilda, the B is a stencil. Yep. From Maison de Stencil. You got it, girl. Good job, Carrie. Now we got her even speaking French and being the camera woman tonight. Took a little French. We're going to be like, Matt, Carrie's taking your, your entire job because now she's speaking French even, okay? And he's going to be like, what? Be like, yep. So I think Tina was saying, if I, if I can picture in my mind, what do you think? In both directions, right? That's what I'm thinking. Like Go over it, like crisscross? Like crisscross is what I'm thinking. Okay, let's do it. give it a shot and see what happens. Well, and they want to know, they know they can use the lye soap to clean yep. wax brushes, but if you don't have that, what else could you use? Mm. Um, I don't use anything but them, only because they go a long way. They're five bucks for just even the small bar. It goes a long, long way. Um, because you don't want to use anything soapy on your good brushes because soap repels, right? So you even like when you're thinking about painting things, you never want to, um, you know, wash with soap before you do. The nice thing is with those soaps that we have, they're called um, Little White Lie. And what was the other one? What's the name on the other one? I forget what it's called. Big Fat Lie. Little White Lie and the Big Fat Lie. I want to make sure I said that right. Uh, no, Dee Dee, I That's do not. <laughs> What's Dee Dee saying? I wanted to know if I have a tattoo on my leg now. <laughs> Too funny. I'm sorry, I'm tat free. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie does the Scooby Doo like stick ones that you put on your arm, right? Everybody knows, loves those. All right, let's do this. And remember, before it completely sets up, so she's saying go across one way, across the other way, right? Is this uh, correct? I'm thinking that's it. Is that correct? Yeah. We're gonna give it a shot. All right, and we'll see what happens. I've just kind of got to yeah, get. In Judith position. says Matt has tattoos everywhere. Yes. Where Absolutely. is Matt? Matt is home, relaxing. Well, actually, he's been running Riley around, though. Too, yeah, so. Riley actually, his band played tonight for um, for senior high for his school dance. And so Riley was, he had to load up all the band equipment, you know, all that goodness, right? All right, let me see here. This board, I might have to press a little bit more because it's got a bit of a curve to it. All right, how cool is that? Love that, right? So the thing is, Honestly, you're supposed to go in one direction because grain goes in one direction, right? But we're going to test tonight for Tina just so we answer her question so she can kind of get a good idea of... And yes, Dee Dee, Matt is definitely safe on this job, seeing I am the packing, shipping person. <laughs> she make, Carrie, make sure you get your paint, right? Don't mess with Carrie. You definitely want to keep her happy. All right. Like it. All right. So that's pretty cool, right? Imagine this being something right here. So then Tina is saying if we take this tool and we go crossways with well, it. Well, she said, well, Teresa thinks she wants you to do each swipe opposite. I'm not sure what that means. Like maybe You'd actually get the same down, thing down, down, because the way this is made, it's not going to make a difference if you go oh, okay. this way. It's just pretty much basically if you're left-handed or you're right-handed, right, how you do it. Go in one direction. But, yeah, you're, whether I do it this way or go down this way, it's going to give you the same thing. What's going to change it up is how long you drag it for how long you rock it for, how long you hold in that position, how long you pull it back for, right? So if you experiment with this, you can make your wood grains really tight or longer. I mean, if I wanted to go the length of this piece, I could totally do that as well. So you can totally have fun with it, right? So hopefully that helps somebody out there, gives you guys good ideas. So yes, when I, I do wash my brushes and I do also wash my wax brush as well, okay? So the soaps that we have, not only does it help 
them like just um, get clean, but it conditions all the bristles as well, just to help preserve it and keep it around for a long time. Angelina wants to know how you get notified for live feed. She can't locate the tool to do that. Oh, I'm glad you asked. If you go to, right, you're on our Facebook page right now. So as soon as we're done with this live and we announce our winners and we're over, go up to the top. You know the picture of me at the top with the paintbrush? Doing this? Yeah, all right, right below that, there's a little, uh, depending on the version of Facebook that you have, it might just say message, or it might just have like a zigzag. It literally looks like a lightning bolt. You click it, and then Pickles the, the monkey comes up, and he says, what can I help you with? So in the, the space below, just type the word subscribe, or type the word live, and you're in. Easy peasy. You don't have to do anything else again. All right, so we are done with this right here, but we've got two winners that we need to announce, okay? Okay, so and Tracy, um, if you want questions on your shipping, um, just send a message. Sure, yeah. And we'll be happy to check on that for you. Yep, just send it to junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com, and we'll check our messages when we get off of here. So Carrie is going to go ahead. I'm going to put the power in Carrie's hands tonight, and we're going to go ahead and let her pick uh, the two winning names. And no matter where you are, are we can uh, have you collect your, your goodness, right? Um, and so just real quick before she does that, while she's taking a moment to scroll through and to pick out two names, um, all you have to have done is share this video. We'll pick out two names for the two different prizes we have tonight. The first prize is going to be for the $20 online um, shopping spree to help you guys maybe try a new product that you've been tr wanting to try. Um, and then the second one is going to be for the monkey spoons. And then when your name is called, you have until midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time, to send us a message. Now, I will tell you, because I know that there are some people who do some shady things, all right? So this morning we woke up to multiple messages from last night with people trying to collect things that were not theirs, right? But we're on to you. So, I just want you to know that if you are the winner tonight, we will be waiting for your message under your name to come to us, right? To be able to verify that it really is you. You just have to message us tonight before midnight to collect it, and we'll respond back and take care of you from there. All right, Carrie. Da -da -da. All right. Ready? Yep, go for it. Okay. First winner, $20 online coupon. We'll hook you up. I have mm -hmm. Cindy Hill. Cindy Hill. Spill her name for me. C-I-N-D-I-E. Okay. Hill. H-I-L-L. -L. Okay. Cindy Hill. Cindy Hill. Hopefully you're with us, girl. Send us a message. It's how you collect by midnight tonight to get your winnings. All right. And Carrie, do you have another name for us? Take your time. No pressure. No pressure. This is for the monkey spoons right here. Awesome to have in your monkey stash for your milk paint, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you're like doing your small projects and you're like, okay, I'm gonna put out, you know, five tablespoons uh, of the milk paint powder and put in five tablespoons of the water to activate my paint. Okay, we have second winner is Linda Kersnick Wolf. Ooh, that's a long name. Linda mm -hmm. Kersnick Wolf. Wolf. Linda with an L Y N D A. Okay. Linda. All Where's right. Nick Wolf. Same thing. We will be watching for you to contact us. Will the real Linda please stand up and message us so we can go ahead and uh, get your goods to you? All right. I might as well kind of like, I figure I might as well just go ahead and finish out this plank because you know what? Now that I'm here, I could totally turn this into a big old like welcome sign or something like that. What do you guys think? What would you use for a big old plank? You can cut them off, make small signs with them, of course, but I think it would be awesome. So since we're here, I'm gonna finish this out. Kim, Sonia will be posting the link to the tool that yes. she's using. Yep. You can get it through Amazon. So much fun. So watch for that. That'll be posted shortly after we're done here. Try to blend this in as best as I could. But remember what I always say, I aim for, um, you know, for it to be overall beautiful, not perfection, because art is not about being perfect. It's just about having fun with it. And let me just tell you, I'm having fun. I can't even stop myself. They want to know if you sell the monkey spoons. Maybe I should, huh? Maybe I should. It'll be fun. Now you give me more ideas. Yes. 
More ideas. Okay, I think I blended in that really well. All right, so this is starting to dry up here, and as it dries, as it really settles down, right? So how pretty is that? Pretty darn nice. Right, we've got the bee, and down here we've got some color going on. So I think we did an amazing job, and this was just an old piece of wood with all kinds of color splotches on it, right? So you probably have something in your basement right now that you can pull out, that you can use. I don't know, maybe it was a part of your wall and you did a remodel, right? Go ahead and steal some of that stuff. Or we've always got neighbors that's always ripping something out. You know, go if you're, if you're passing by. You know, we don't judge if you stop and be like, okay, can I just like take that from your trash? Because throw it in your car, take it home, right? Awesomeness. So anyway, I hope you guys have feel inspired tonight. This was day two of our paint challenge. Tomorrow night, stay tuned for more goodness because we've got so much fun coming up, okay? Lots of tutorials. Take care, guys. See you soon. See you tomorrow. Bye.